Hey, we play video games. Yeah, buddy. Daddy's got to pwn some noobs. And when he's done, we'll go make a Lego airplane. Yo, what's up, guys? Larry Legend here, and I have no idea what kind of gameplay I'm going to put up. I'm just going to put some filler in, keep you guys uh, visually entertained while you are orgasmly stimulated. At that, yeah, you guys like that? Stimulated through your ear holes. That's that's what I'm gonna do today. <laughs> um, no man, uh, you know I get a lot of questions. Um, sometimes serious, sometimes silly. Uh, you know whether it's on the podcast or the live stream or just on my YouTube channel or through private messages. And I always, you know, find them hilarious. Sometimes they're on Twitter. And you know, if I get a YouTube PM or something like that, I always try to. If it's serious, I always try to give them, you know, my best answer, well thought out answer, to, you know, help whatever their issue is or their problem is. Um, but I like, I don't know, I like talking to you guys. So um, I was messing around today, and you know, I thought about how about a uh, how about doing like a little question and answer session. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I guess normally people do them uh, showing their face, but I'm so hideously ugly that I could never show my face to you guys. So, I'm sorry. You just get to hear my sweet voice. Watch my uh, mediocre gameplay. I was gonna say sweet gameplay, but who the fuck are we kidding? You know, the name's Larry Legend. See, I almost killed myself with my fucking napalm. It's, it's not awesome gameplay. But, anyways, <clears throat> excuse me, to the questions at hand. You know, I tweeted something earlier and I said, hey, you know, think about doing a Q&A, you know, what do you guys think? And I, I instantly got some uh, questions. So I'm just going off the, you know, the few questions that I got from my Twitter followers. I'm going to just give you their Twitter handle. And I guess it's sometimes it's their gamer tag. Sometimes it's not. But, uh, yeah, that's that's how we're going to roll here. So House MDPL asked me what the meaning of life was. And then he put a... L O L and a cute little winky smiley face. Um, you know, I think that's a topic that deserves a whole commentary. So I'm not going to try to sum up the meaning in life in, you know, a minute and a half or 30 second answer. That just probably wouldn't do, do the meaning of life justice. So I'm going to try to make that a full length commentary uh, where you guys can listen to me, uh, you know, rant for a little while. Um, so, <clears throat> the very next question was from K-pop, and she wanted to know if I had to make sweet, sweet love, not regular sweet love, double sweet, you know, like double XP weekend, so double sweet love to a fellow FNG, which one would it be and why? Um, oh, that's tough. You know, I think if I had to, um, I think I'd want someone who would not enjoy it either so probably verbal you know plus he's like he's older and he's wiser you know he's so he's older so he's hairier you know he probably doesn't know what the whole manscaping thing is so he's a little fuzzy he's like a big teddy bear you know he'll take care of me you know make sure i feel appreciated or as the other hand seb would you know totally enjoy the whole thing and demean me and call me a fag the whole time you know my cock would be in his mouth and he'd be like you're such a fag. So, no, I'm just, no, just kidding. No, maybe I'm not. I don't know. I don't know how that would work. Uh, but it would have to be uh, have to be verbal. I mean, I guess Tino's as an FNG, but he's like the silent partner. But I don't think a lot of people associate him with FNG, you know, as much because he's you know our moderator and he doesn't pop in and talk about you know what the appropriate way to mount a giraffe. Or, you know, what other weird topics that we can come up with. <clears throat> um, so, I'm going to leave him leave him out of that and just, because uh, there's a follow-up question. So, <laughs> here's a follow-up. I'm kind of going out of order here. But, uh, alright, where is it, where is it, where is it? Okay. De La Clem said, Tino's verbal and try hard. Marry one, kill one, and fuck one. Go. So a little uh, Step Brothers reference, if you guys haven't seen that movie. Will Ferrell's fucking hilarious, so go watch it. But, uh, alright, so, marry one, kill one, fuck one. Alright. 
I know I just said I'd make sweet, sweet love to Verbal, but I'm going to have to kill him. Uh, Tino's, I'm going to have to fuck Tino's. I mean, he's young, he's fresh, you know, he's toit like a toyga. <laughs> oh, this is so homosexual. Um, so yeah, I'm going to fuck Tino's, I'm going to kill Verbal, I'm going to marry Tryhard because he's rich, all right? And he said he would blow someone for a million dollars. So you guys all know married couples don't have sex anyway, so I don't have to worry about fucking him. And he's going to be out blowing dudes, getting millions, and I can just live off that. So that's cool, you know, on top of all the money that he already has. So, hey, let's roll with that. <laughs> and then to follow that question is from uh, Long Hauler 13 And his question was, do your parents know you are gay? And by gay, I mean you're assuming happy. And yes, my parents know that I am happy about life. I'm gay for life. Happy for life. But does your wife, Long Haul, this is for you, buddy, to you, does your wife know you're gay for dudes, as in gay, you know, penis in the anus gay sex, all right? Does she, does she know that? So how's that, how's that for a turn and burn, son? What? What? That's what I'm talking about. G-O-M-L. Get on my level, gay dude. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Slater Tots. He wants to know, if a koala bear had a woman's body, would I tap that? <laughs> oh, this is so, I don't, it depends. Is it of like a full length woman with just like koala bear intelligence and, uh, I don't know, are koala bears intelligent? I don't know what they are as a species, but, uh, so basically I'm thinking that if you just took a koala bear and then you turned it into a woman, you know, on the outside... And, uh, well, the inside, too, I guess, except for the brain. Uh, I don't know if you guys are tracking, but if you did that, then I would be all for tapping koala bear woman ass. But if it just had, like, from the neck down was a woman and, like, had a koala head, that'd be kind of weird. But, I mean, the upside, never mind just, you know, sexual relations with this koala bear woman. If it was a full full body woman with, you know, just koala bear characteristics inside. Dude, she couldn't talk. She couldn't yell at you. She couldn't tell you to take out the trash, you know, to keep her content. You just, you know, I guess have to, you know, bang her and give her some leaves and some sticks to munch on, maybe some insects. Who knows? I mean, that's fucking cheap living right there. And don't worry about stress. I mean, you gotta, you gotta leave for a couple weeks. Toss her on the tree. Let her hang out there for a little while. No big deal. So, yeah. I, I guess that's where I'm going to go with that question. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Audio Warren. He says, if you could add a basement to your house, what would you fill it with? All right. Now, this is kind of kind of scary because I don't have a basement. So, obviously, this guy is peeping in my windows or something. So, me and you, Audio Worm, we're going to have to have, have a talk, buddy. But I'm going to answer your question. Anyways, so I don't have a basement. So first I'd have to add a basement. And then what would I fill it with? Um, I'd make it my man cave. I've always wanted a, you know, a man cave, just my own personal space. Um, you know, when I game or play video games or whatever, uh, I got to do it in the living room. That's where the TV is. That's where my PVR is. Uh, and then I have to transfer everything, you know, record it through my laptop onto my external hard drive, which I then bring into my office where I have my desktop, uh, and it's just not possible for me at this time to kind of combine all those things at once, so that's what I do, put it all in the basement, have a TV, got the Xbox, PVR, you know, computer, everything, have some sweet uh, posters up on the wall, you know, got some got some Patriots, maybe Tom Brady, Tom Brady throwing a touchdown pass, got a little uh, Kevin Garnett dunking on someone, um, you know, stuff like that, normal like man shit, like American man shit, all right? Not shit as in poop, but stuff. All right. Um, okay, so next question is from Slater Tots. And he wants to know if, uh, what would I rather do? Would I rather stick my penis in a frying pan or in a hungry alligator's mouth? I'm liking these questions. I like where you guys are going with these things. These are pretty fucking hilarious. Um, disgusting, but hilarious and funny nonetheless. 
And when you give me a hilarious or funny question, I get to give you a hilarious or funny response. So, all right. Frying pan or hungry alligator's mouth? Well, you didn't say if the frying pan had to be hot or cold. I'm assuming you meant hot, so we'll just go with that scenario. So, basically, I'm standing there, and I have my dick out. Or I'm naked, who knows. And I either, you know, have made the decision that I want to stand in front of a hot frying pan with my junk hanging out, or there's a huge hungry alligator ready to eat my wang. I'm going to have to go with the frying pan. Um, you know, I don't care if you just got done frying chicken or something. It's all, you know, 500 degrees. I'm, dude, I'm tossing it in there. Yeah, I might get a little scarring, um, but it'd be a cool story. And if it looked kind of cool, I could pull it out all the time and be like, hey, look at my penis. Doesn't it look funny? Uh... Hungry alligator, you're not getting that thing back, man. It's just, it's not happening. So, you know, I'd take it deformed and funny looking than not to have one at all. Uh, CB, favorite music. Uh, favorite music, probably rock, rap. Um, I don't know. I, my tastes change a lot. That sounds gay, but that's <laughs> that's how it works. Um, let's see. T. Martin. He wants to know how big my penile organ is. And T. Martin is, it's the T. Martin. So, yes, T. Martin wants to know about my penis. So if you guys want to, go to his channel and tell him uh, Larry has a three-inch penis. Because it's true. I'm not going to lie to you guys. You know, I could lie and say that I've got, like, a 14-inch cock and I beat up, you know, uh, old people with it. Because... That's what I'd do. If I had a 14 inch cock, I'd beat up old people with it just for shits and giggles. But, um, yeah, it's, it's three inches. It's tiny. Um, you know, I'm lucky that my wife is a midget, so she doesn't have to complain about anything. And, you know, that's kind of how we roll. Three inch penis. So what? I don't care. I don't care if when I get out of the shower and I look down below the waist, I cry. All right? That's how I roll. I'm fine with it. Um, what else we got here? All right. Drake Wheeler wants to know what my favorite gun outside of video games. I don't know. I don't have guns, dude. I get drunk too much. Drunk people and guns don't go well. I don't want to be on a fucking episode of Cops. Uh, you know, for shooting someone. For beating someone up or being, you know, drunk in public, that's fine. But not for killing someone. Not that way. And uh, Buck26AW. Top five movies, top five songs. I don't have, like, top fives. I got, like, favorites at the time being, so... Favorite song right now is uh, Cinderella Man by Eminem. Uh, favorite movie is Taken with uh, Liam Neeson. He's a fucking beast in that movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch that shit. It's fucking awesome. And if I could 1v1 anyone, I don't. 1v1 in Call of Duty isn't for me. I don't know. It's just. I don't know. Fuck it. I'd say I'd, you know, try to quick scope Hutch. That's what I do. And fail fucking miserably, but I don't know. Have a laughable good time because I wouldn't expect too much myself, so no stress. All the stress would be on Hutch because he'd have to beat me. He'd have to beat me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's about it. You guys want to see more, hear more, drop comments in the uh, comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed everything so far, and uh, peace out. Ha, 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 nummies. Get pooped on.